Okay, so hey guys. So today I wanted to finally share with you my Sephora VIB sale haul. So I'm going to share with you what I picked up. This is over the course of three separate trips, So, but this bag is really, really heavy. I did take full advantage of this sale, so I wanted to share with you what I got. So let's just jump right in and share with it with you. I'm sorry that I'm posting this um, much later this year, but um, I had to go to one other Sephora to get um, the other things that I wanted, so I'm just going to jump right in. So the first thing that I got is a backup of something. I only picked up two backups this year. I know I'm already stumbling on my words. I'm sorry, it's been a long day. I worked and then I went to the movies with my friend. So the first thing that I got is a tried and true Holy Grail product. I decided to pick up a backup of my Laura Mercier Secret Branding Powder. Um, I actually picked this up the first, um, year of the sale last April, and I'm basically almost out of this, so I actually really needed to go pick this up, and since the sale was going on, I figured to take advantage of the sale and go pick it up. This is my favorite under eye setting powder ever. I basically don't use anything else. I really just, I tried to use the MAC Emphasize powder once, and I know that there's other setting powders that people say are great, like the ones in the Kat Von D kit and the one in the Marc Jacobs kit, but I just can't seem to stray away from this. I love it so much. I use it every single day to set my under eye, so I was running extremely low, so I figured to pick up a new one. So that was the first thing. I know, boring. Then the next thing is something that I didn't intend on getting, but I decided to pick it up and take advantage of the sale price because this is not a cheap product, and I already love the first shade of the one that I have, so I decided to pick up this one. I didn't even realize my Sephora had this. Um, I picked it up on one of those little stands that they get you in where, like, they have th certain things from collections or they have, like, certain brands that they don't carry the full lineup in the store, but they carry, like, a few random things on that stand. But they do carry the full line of this brand in the store. I just didn't realize that they had them because they were so hard to find the last time I wanted to pick them up during, like, November. So I decided to get the Bobbi Brown Highlighting Powder in the shade Bronze Glow. I know that this is a very um, popular highlighter, and I'm, like, just getting it now. But like I said, it's not a cheap highlighter, but at least it's really big, so it kind of compensates for the size. So this is what the packaging looks like, classic Bobbi Brown packaging, and then it says, of course, Bronze Glow on the back, and then you can see a little flash in my wallpaper, which is Disney, and then it comes like this, there's a mirror, and then this is what it looks like, it has a little bit of a plastic overlay, so you can just take that off, and this is what the um, Bronze Glow looks like, it looks so beautiful in the pan, like so pretty and goldy and reflective, I'm going to swatch it for you. And then I'll tell you my thoughts. Let's just get a good swatch. It does swatch really beautifully, if you can see that. And then this is what it looks like. I feel like that this is how it should reflect on the cheeks, but honestly, I don't feel like it really picks up as much product when you put it on the cheeks. I've been testing it out for a little bit. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I actually didn't use it today. I only used a couple of products from here today. Um, but like I said, I did wear it a couple of times, and so far I like it. I like the pink, I prefer the pink glow more, but what I'm thinking is that I did get the pink glow highlighter for my last haul, so this is a repeat item and a repeat brand that I decided to pick up, and I think that, sorry, I have an itch, I think that the one that I got is, first of all, it's smaller, and I also think I paid the same price that I did for the, for the smaller one as I did for the big one, and they said that they changed the size and came out with the the size that's like this and this is much bigger than the one that I have and when I asked the girl about the size because I was asking them to hold this for me and one other item that I'll show you in a minute because I picked up um these items first um I did ask her to hold this and I asked her about the size difference and she said yeah they changed the size um, and this was the original size of the limited edition Bronze Glow when it first came out. People loved it so much and that that's why they decided to bring it back. But I'm already telling you guys something that you already know. So I wasn't planning on getting this, but I decided to get it because I do like the pink glow shade so much. But I'm not as crazy about this one. I'll see if I like it more because honestly, if I don't end up using it as much or not liking it as much, I might return it because it ain't cheap. Um, and then the next thing that I got is another highlighting, uh, like a palette. I did get three highlighters because you guys know I love highlighters. Um, 
This one, I knew that I wanted to pick up a couple of Tarte products this time. I don't feel like I really pick up enough Tarte, and I feel like I kind of neglect Tarte as a brand. I do love the Tarte Tartlet and Bloom palette, but I find myself not really using my blushes or my lipstick from the brand. So I really wanted to take advantage of this collection, and this collection really did um, catch my eye. A lot of the things looked really, really pretty. So I saw this highlighter set being used by, um, highlighting palette being used by Manny MUA, and I like fell in love with the highlighter. Um, when I saw him using it, he did this whole like one brand tutorial on Tarte and he used the whole Tarte, new Tarte collection. So the new Tarte collection is called Rainforest of the Sea. So I got the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Skin, Skin Twinkle Lighting Palette. I don't know why I keep on stumbling when I say Skin Twinkle, um, but this is what it's called and this is what the packaging looks like. It is so pretty. It has like this really pretty ombre effect. Tarte always, Tarte and Benefit always have really beautiful packaging, but Too Faced is still my favorite, but I think Benefit and Tarte are definitely the best with um, packaging as well. And then this is what the palette looks like. It is so pretty. I love the packaging. It has the whole rainforesty kind of feel. And then it tells you the colors on the back, but I'm not going to blind you. But the colors in the palette are sunlight, filtered light, and moonlight. Basically like the same like my cover effects palette. I'm just going to open it like this because there is an insert in here. There's an insert that's just telling you what the colors are. And then this is what it looks like. Do you see like how friggin pigmented and glittery and reflective those are they look so beautiful right so this one is the pinky shade I believe this one is moonlight and this one is sunlight because that one is the yellow one and then this one is filtered light so I'm going to swatch all three for you Ooh, wow that feels so bad I didn't even um, swatch this one because I heard that this is terrible. I only got this highlighting palette for the two highlighting shades because I thought the highlighting shades were gorgeous. But once I stuck my finger in that, oh my god, it feels like paper. That's like the worst feeling I've ever felt for a product, like ever. <laughs> That's not good. But the highlighters feel so super buttery. This is a filtering shade, but honestly, I'm not even going to waste your time with that. Hopefully I did them right. And then that's what they look like. They're super pretty. Just trying to make it even. That's what it looks like. That is um, the yellow highlight sunlight, and that one is moonlight. So they're all really pretty and reflective. So I've worn these a couple times, and I really do like them. I just don't know if I've been loving like the way I've been applying my highlight lately. I don't know. It's just been kind of annoying me. I am wearing Becca's Opal today. I just went back to some Holy Grail highlights the past couple of days, but I have been using this quite a bit, and I do really like it, so I'm definitely enjoying this. I think I like this more than the Bronze Glow. So that is the, um, second, the next thing that I got. And then the next thing, let's go with, um, I think I'm going to save lip products for last. So I'll just do those last. So the next thing that I got, I knew that I really wanted to pick up a fragrance this time because I really wanted to take full advantage of the sale. I knew I was already intending on picking up a couple of foundations, but... I was either going to decide to pick up a fragrance or a foundation, but then I decided to pick up both. But um, I decided to pick up one fragrance. So I got, uh, you guys know I collect Marc Jacobs fragrances, and I saw this one, and I smelled it, and I kind of fell in love with it, so I knew I wanted to get it. So I got the Marc Jacobs Daisy Blush Scent. It's called the Marc Jacobs Daisy Blush, and it says the name on the top. Obviously, you guys know what the Daisy um, perfume is, and this is what the packaging looks like. I think it's so cute. Sorry, I'm so full. <laughs> so full. I just had a couple of quesadillas with Phil from Chipotle after the movie that we saw, so I'm full. Um, but I love the packaging. It's so adorable, so girly, so springy, and I knew that I really wanted to get a spring scent because, um, I'm running extremely low on my Daisy, um, Dream Perfume and my um, Mo Noir that I decided that I wanted to pick up a new spring scent because I feel like I'm going to be able to use up Daisy Dream and Mo Noir really soon that I needed a new scent and I needed something for the spring months to hold me over to when I start using honey because honey is my summer scent. So I decided to pick up this one and then this is what the packaging looks like and then I will show you 
the bottle. If I can get it open. And then, oh, it smells like new product. <laughs> and then this is what the bottle looks like. It doesn't this scream me. It is so adorable. I love that it's pink and has flowers on it. Like, it's so girly and it's so me. I love it. So that's what the bottle looks like. I got the 1.7 fluid ounce. And that's what it looks like. And it says Daisy Mark Jacobs Blush. And the scent is very floral, very rosy. I really do like it a lot. I haven't really sprayed it like fully. You know what? I'm going to spray some now. Mm, yeah, that smells so good. Mm, oh, yeah. That definitely smells really good. I like that a lot. Does it say the top notes on here? Ooh, that is really, really nice. It doesn't say the top notes, but... It's not as rosy as I thought it was going to be, but it smells really good. I really do like that. It's interesting. It has like a clean, fresh scent to it, so I do really like that. So I can't wait to use this more. I just think it's so cute. It has the little flowers on the side, so I'm super excited to use this more. I'm like, I'm super excited. <laughs> so that is the fragrance that I got. I just want to make sure I can move everything and show you the rest. So the next thing, uh, let's go with, um, <laughs> let's see, let's go with this. So I decided to um, pick up a backup of something, but I decided to pick it up in a different shade. This is actually the only other backup that I got besides a foundation because I am running low on my favorite foundation. You guys probably know what it is, but I'll get into that when I get to it. Um, so you guys know that I use the Hourglass Luminous Light Powder every single day as a finishing powder for my makeup. But um, that is going to be expiring soon. I think it's going to expire like next month or something. And I know that I haven't been able to use it up. And I probably will never use these powders up in my life. I mean, I see Tara Babes go through these things like they're going out of style and she always uses them up. But I am never going to be able to use up Luminous Light. Um, but I decided to pick up another Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. And I got the shade Ethereal Light. I think that this one is her favorite one. Or maybe it's Diffused Light or something. But I knew I wanted this because it said it gives you a candlelight glow. And I use Luminous Light every day as a finishing powder to make sure everything blends seamlessly and flawlessly you know it helps me blend my contour it helps me blend my highlight and it just pulls everything together and makes everything look flawless so I use it every single day I love it I'm obsessed with it if you really don't think they do something just brush it all over your face and you'll see the difference it might be subtle but honestly it really just help your makeup come together so I decided to get ethereal light this time and that's what the packaging looks like typical hourglass packaging and it says Ethereal Light on the back. I mean, it is an older product, so it's going to be the same packaging as the other one. And then this is what it looks like. It's just a white golden powder. It doesn't really have, I mean, it does have glitter in it, but it is very pigmented when you swatch it. That's what it looks like right there. I mean, I guess I could use this as an under eye setting powder too. Maybe I'll try it, but it's not a highlighter. It's just a um, finishing powder and I love Hourglass products they're amazing so I'm really happy that I picked this up so um, I really was going myself to use up Luminous Light this year but it just was not happening um, if they, these last forever honestly you get so much product and they're so worth the price I mean these are pricey but you never get a discount on Hourglass so I decided to take advantage of it during the sale so I got that and the next thing that I got, I knew that I wanted to get a blush, and I always pick up a blush during the sale. I was very torn as to whether I was going to pick up an extremely high-end blush or a um, blush that I've been wanting for like probably a month now and a blush formula that I absolutely love. So I decided to go with that. I was like, I am not paying $45 for a Dior blush. I know I pay $45 for a highlighter, but honestly, I use highlighter so much that I feel like it's kind of a little bit more worth it. I decided just to pick up the blush 
shade that I still wanted from this brand. So I got the NARS blush in the shade Orgasm. I know, I hate saying that shade, and I'm probably the last person on the planet to actually own the um, pan of this because I don't actually have the pan. I did um, try out a sample of it, and I really fell in love with it. So I decided to get the um, full-size blush. So that is what the packaging looks like. Classic, classy NARS packaging. I love their packaging for like anything. They're so classy, but I really do love their blushes. So that's what it looks like. And then it says Orgasm on the back. This is like their most iconic shade. Everybody knows what Orgasm looks like, but I'll swatch for you anyway. And then it just comes with a little bit a plastic on here it kind of stuck to the mirror so I'm just gonna leave it there but that's what it looks like really gorgeous peachy pink color so excited to use it more and I'm especially excited to use it with the orgasm lip gloss and it is very shimmery but honestly when you put NARS glo uh, glosses when you put NARS blushes on your cheeks the shimmer goes away and it always looks beautiful so that's what it looks like right there you guys know what NARS's orgasm looks like but I'll just show you again it is so pretty it has a little bit of gold shimmer in it but it's gorgeous I love it so that's I that's the blush I decided to get I was going to pick up one of the new Becca blushes from the spring collection because I wanted to get a lot of spring makeup because this was kind of like my spring haul um, to get new spring makeup. Um, and then I decided not to get it because I decided that I didn't want to wait for anything online to come here because the Becca blushes aren't available in store yet. And I just um, wanted to get the haul up as soon as I could so I didn't want to wait for something online. So... I didn't decide to get that, and then I didn't decide to get the Dior blush because I thought it was just too expensive, and I was like, I'm never going to really use it as much as I really want to, and I have enough blushes now that I don't really need that much more. And then um, the last thing from that day, and then I'm going to go into lip products. Um, I mean, I did get a lip product on that day too, um, but you guys know I really like trying out high-end mascaras. I know that people say that high-end mascaras aren't worth it, but honestly... I think that a mascara is so worth it because you're if you like it, you're going to use it every single day and you're going to use it up because or it's going to dry out because if you're using it every single day and you love it, you're going to get your money's worth and you're going to use it up. So I think it's worth it. I don't know why more people don't think like that, but I used up my Giorgio Armani mascara. I used up my Dior Show mascara and I loved both of those. So I decided to get this one. This one has been on my list since November. But I decided to get the Dior Show Mascara that time. But this time I decided to get the YSL Baby Doll Mascara Volume Effect. Luxur luxurious Mascara for a False Lash Effect. <sighs> I always stumble on my words. But this is what the packaging looks like. YSL, oh my god, I love their packaging. It's just so pretty with the gold. Um, I actually, I was trying to see what other things that I would want from YSL. But this was honestly the one thing I really wanted. So this is what I decided to get. Last, um, the last haul, I got the YSL Touche Clot Foundation and Highlighter Pen. And then the first VIB haul, I got the YSL Lipstick in Pink in Paris. So YSL is definitely a repeat brand for me. I really do like their stuff, but also because they're expensive, so I wanted to take advantage of it. So this is what the packaging looks like. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. And it says Baby Doll on the side. And then the wand, I actually really like the wand because it kind of reminds me of my L'Oreal Telescopic wand. It's a very thin wand, and it smells so good. Oh, my God. I It smells, like, really citrusy. It kind of reminds me of the Bite Beauty original lip scent from their original lipsticks, which I'll get into in, like, two or three minutes. But um, I tried it today. I, I like it. I'm not too crazy about it, but I am going to be trying it out more. I haven't really been too crazy about a lot of mascaras because, I don't know, I feel like my lashes have just been really blah lately. I don't know. I feel like the only way they really um, do anything is if I do wear a lash primer. I probably need to buy a lash curler. Um, and you're supposed to curl your lashes every time you use mascara, but of course I don't do that. Um, but I really should. So I got that. Okay, and then um, the next things are a couple of foundations, So, because I'm going to do lip products last. So the first foundation I got, I was kind of torn as to which foundation, like new foundation I wanted to try this time, because I always do try a new foundation during the sale. 
And I don't really pick up foundations that often. I either stick with my holy grail tried and trues or I try a new foundation every like couple of months and if I don't like it I will return it and exchange it for a different foundation. But I heard really good reviews about this foundation and I really wanted to try one of the newer trending foundations where it's more water-based and it's more like luminous and serum-y and has that kind of effect. Um, so I decided to pick up another Tarte item and I got the new Tarte Foundation Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation S Broad Spectrum SPF 15. So I didn't actually know that there was SPF in here so that is great. And I got the shade Fair Neutral which is the lightest shade of course because you know I'm pale as fuck. Um, so this is what the packaging looks like. Again the packaging is adorable. And I see everybody and they mama picking up this foundation from this sale because... Um, it's probably new, the newest foundation that has hit the market. Oh, you get a sample in here too. The Deep Dive Cleansing Gel. What is this? Is it a, oh, it's a, obviously a face wash. <laughs> this daily gel cleanser foams into a luxurious lather to remove skin impurities and all traces of waterproof makeup. The gentle formula helps soften skin as it purifies, cleanses, and clarifies without stripping skin's natural moisture. Vegan friendly and fragrance free, this conditioning cleanse gel, cleansing gel works for all skin types. Okay, maybe I'll maybe I'll use it. We'll see. Um, so this is what it comes in. It comes in like a little bit of like a cardboard packaging, and the bottle is so cute. I just love. I love Tarte's packaging, and I love that they decided to go with a frosted glass because I've never done that before. So this is what it looks like, and I really love the packaging. It has that little ombre effect on the top. What sucks, though, is that I wanted to pick this up at my Sephora yesterday because I know it's just so annoying picking up a foundation at um, the Roosevelt Field Sephora because they're always so busy. But I know like once they help you, they will help you. And I actually got this guy to help me today. I think it was one of the managers. And at first he wasn't that nice to me. I think that he probably didn't uh, think that I really loved makeup or something. But once I started telling him what I wanted, he actually like started listening to me and was actually really helping me. So that was really nice. Um, but he helped me color match and... I was actually talking to a couple of the girls in Sephora yesterday because I went there to pick up um, like the blush and the hourglass hi highlighter and the um, YSL mascara, blah, 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 whatever. Um, and I asked them to try to color match me for this, but they told me that they weren't carrying this foundation in the store at all. And I was like, are you serious? I'm like, this is the brand new foundation for Tarte. Like, how are you not carrying the foundation? So... Um, I think my Ulta has it, but obviously I wanted to take advantage of the sale. Um, I just want to see um, how much is in here. It feels like it's really small, but um, anyway, the Tarte rep was actually there, and I was talking to her a little bit because um, one of the girls was trying to help me, but she wasn't really a color matcher, but she was going to color match me anyway, which was nice of her because the other two girls were busy. She decided to pull over the Tarte rep to help me, and I asked her if she could color match me, and she was bringing over the older foundation. I was like, oh, I want to try the new foundation. They were like, oh, we're not carrying it here. I was like, oh, really? And I asked her, like, what color I would be, and she said probably fair neutral or fair light neutral. But I asked him in the store today just to double check for me to um, see what shade I was, and obviously I was going to be the lightest shade. So anyway, this is what it looks like, and it comes with a twist top that you pull off and it comes with a dropper so you press the dropper down and then you release it to release the product obviously so I'm not going to swatch I was going to try and swatch these but it's just going to make a hot mess but it does look a little bit dark like the um color looks a little dark but I think it'll be just fine um it should be just fine for me I am so excited to try this I wish I would have been able to try it today and got gotten it yesterday and tried it out all day today because I was going to be out all day, but I just decided to put on my tried and true Giorgio Armani, um, but hopefully I will be able to try this out for you guys and let you know my thoughts on it. So I got that. I don't know why I keep on putting everything back in the packaging when I really don't need to do that. I'll just put it back in the box for now. And then the second foundation I decided to pick up 
as you guys know I've been rambling on about my favorite foundation but you guys already know so I decided to pick up the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation again because I am running super low on mine and you guys know I can't live without it so I really need to pick up another one but I decided to pick up a different shade this time because as you guys know I've been using the shade 5 but I think I've told you guys that I think it's a little bit dark for me um, but I've used up two full bottles of that because now I'm almost done with this one so that would mean I would use up two full bottles. I know that this is an expensive foundation but it's my favorite foundation ever so I decided to just take advantage of the sale and pick it up when I could. So I got the shade 2 this time and it's going to be pretty crazy how different the shade is going to be but it looks a lot lighter. I should have grabbed my original one and shown you. Um, but I think that this shade is going to be absolutely perfect for me. So this is what it looks like, obviously, in the same packaging. But um, this is what the shade looks like. And it says two on the bottom, obviously. But I love this foundation so much. I'm wearing it today. It's just so beautiful. So I'm very excited to try this out and see how this shade is for me. But it looks much lighter. It basically almost looks like the same as my skin tone. So I'm really hoping that this will be the good perfect match for me because it would be a pain in the ass to go to Roswell Fields again and exchange it for a different shade because they don't carry Giorgio Armani in my Sephora so it kind of sucks but yeah so I decided to get this I don't really have to ramble on about it because you guys know how much I love it um and when he was color matching me today it was like so annoying because these shades like don't really like um go up in like skin tone it's more like it goes from like 2 to 2.5 to 275 to 3 to 325 to 375, etc. And from 3 to 3.75, it could be like a massive shade difference. Like it could be for really tan and then 3 could be for really fair. Which obviously you know that that's how it would be. But I think it goes by like tones, by like yellow tone to like pink tone to like and etc. Like fair, light, neutral to like neutral or something like that. So... But the shade ranges are great in these. They never come off yellow, so I'm super excited to try this out. So that's it for foundation. And then the last highlighter product I decided to pick up is one of another new spring makeup item. I knew I was going to pick this up because I know so many people have been waiting for this to be released as a highlighter. And they finally did. It is a little bit different than the eyeshadow, though. But um, I wanted to pick this up at my Sephora, but again, they weren't... They didn't have it yet. I don't even know if they're going to be carrying it. Um, but they don't really have any of the new stuff from this collection yet. Um, Ulta did have it. I did see it in my Ulta yesterday. I did decide to return something to Ulta. I, I returned the Smashbox Soft Lights Blush. I just didn't really like it. And I decided that since I'm not really using it, I just decided to return it. Oh my god, my neck is hurting. Hurry up, girl, and stop talking. Um, but anyway, I decided to pick up this at... Um, the Roswell Field Sephora because I wanted to take advantage of the discount. I did ask them to hold it for me at Ulta yesterday, but then I decided to not get it because I wasn't getting a discount. So I did actually call the Roosevelt Field store yesterday and ask them to hold it for me today. Of course, when I was explaining it to them on the phone, they didn't know what it was. And I'm like, they made it in a highlighter and they're like, oh, okay. And then they found it and held it for me. So I picked it up today because obviously I was going there today. So I decided to get the Urban Decay Afterglow 8 Hour Powder Highlighter in the shade Sin. You guys know this is probably the most popular one out of the three that have come out. And this was the only one that I was interested in. And the packaging is so pretty with that ombre. I know I didn't really show you. Um, and then this is what it looks like. Basically the same packaging as the blushes. So that's what it looks like right there. And then it says Sin on the back, obviously. And then this is what the color looks like. It is so gorgeous. I can't wait to put this on my face tomorrow. I'm so excited because obviously I'm going to try it out tomorrow. This is the only one I didn't get to try because I just picked it up today. But look at that. Look at that pigment. It's so pretty. And then I'll swatch it for you. It's so buttery. That's what it looks like right there. I think it's honestly more buttery than the Tarte and the Bobbi Brown. Oh, it's so pretty though. See, it's very gold compared to the other ones. I just want to see the comparison. Yeah, it's definitely more yellowy gold than the Tarte Sunlight. 
really, really pretty. You guys know I love highlighters, so I would say I went a little highlighter crazy. But this was definitely the one highlighter that I really wanted along with the Tarte highlighter. And then um, the last things are just lip products. I'm going to share with you a couple of lipsticks that I decided to pick up. I know I've said before that I was on a no-buy for lipsticks, but I only picked up three. And honestly, I'm pretty, um, I'm pretty, sorry, my boyfriend just texted me, so I got a little bit thrown off. But I'm pretty satisfied with my lipsticks right now, and I feel like I really have been rotating a lot of my lipsticks. So I decided to get one lipstick from my Sephora, um, and I did get two other ones from one brand that I will share with you in a minute. Um, but I got this lipstick because I keep on seeing many MUA rave about this. Um, I know he kind of inspired me for this sale. Um, but as you guys know, this brand did revamp all of their lipsticks and decided to come out with new shades. So I got the Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche lipstick in the shade Honeycomb. I knew I was going to pick this up. And the packaging's so cute and it has like, it's a little, um, overlay and then it obviously reveals the typical bite beauty packaging but it's so cute so that's what it looks like and then of course it says honeycomb on the top if I could actually show you there we go right there <laughs> sorry I'm like here you go <laughs> so weird <clears throat> and then this is what the shade looks like as you guys know they did revamp all of their lipsticks and came out with a brand new line of just the amuse bouche lipsticks it is so weird to say amuse bouche but um, Manny MUA has been wearing this shade a lot, and he's been wearing it with the Honey Lip Gloss. And I actually wore it once with the lip gloss, and it looks so pretty. Obviously, it has the Bite Beauty packaging with the little um, curve at the end. And then it says Honeycomb on the bottom. And then this is what it looks like. It is really, really pretty. I actually did wear it um, a couple of days ago, and it felt so comfortable on the lips and I wore it with the lip gloss over it and it looks so pretty oh my god I love it it's so pretty I think I'm gonna wear it tomorrow probably or actually I need to wear another lipstick that I decided to pick up today that I didn't wear yet because I just got it today um but that's what it looks like it is so pretty so I can't wait to wear this more often I've only worn it once so far and then the last two lipsticks I didn't even know that they had these in the store I was waiting for them to be um, restocked on Sephora.com and on Too Faced. So I'm obviously talking about some Too Faced lipsticks. Um, but I saw that they had limited shades of both of these in the, um, Sephora. Okay, sorry, my mom needed me for a second, but I'm just going to get into the last two lipsticks that I got. So I decided to pick up two of the shades of the Too Faced New Melted Matte Liquid Lipsticks. I was so excited when Too Faced was talking about launching matte liquid lipsticks, and I was so excited to try them. Um, I wasn't, I didn't even know that they had them in the store, but they had very limited shade selection of them. They didn't have all the shades in the store, but it doesn't really matter because I found the two shades that I wanted in my Sephora and um, the Roosevelt Field Sephora, so I picked up two of them. So these are the shades that I got. I got the shades Child Star and Sell Out. So I'm going to swatch them for you. So the first shade I got is called Child Star. I did wear this yesterday. And I picked it up in my Sephora yesterday. So that's where I found it. And then this is what the packaging looks like. Not the hugest fan of the packaging. It's a little bit bulky for me. But it is pretty to look at. I mean, I love Too Faced packaging. So... I'm just going to have to roll with it. <laughs> so this is what it looks like right here. And then, of course, it says Child Star on the back. Of course, I picked up the uh, two of the nude shades, and I will swatch it for you. So that's what it looks like on the applicator, and then I will swatch it right here. It is such a pretty shade. Swatched. That's what it looks like right there. It's like kind of like a brown pinky nude. It's a little bit pinky, but honestly not too much. You can pull it off when I, you wear like a warm tone eye. I did wear it yesterday, and I kind of really like the formula. Um, the only thing I don't like is the scent and the fact that I was getting a little bit of a white ring around, around the rim, but I did do a first impressions 
uh, check-in and review of this, so you will be seeing that very soon, but you guys already are basically knowing that I really like it, so um, that is the first shade that I got, and then the second shade is um, Sellout, which I saw this um, swatched and swatched on um, Kathleen Light's Instagram, and I was like, oh my god, which color is that? I need it, so I decided to pick up that one as well, so this one is called Sellout, and I don't know really how, know how to explain this color, and then it says, obviously, the shade name on the back as well. It's really small print, so you're not really going to be able to see it, and then I will swatch it for you. Oh, they're so creamy. They're so creamy. I really do like these a lot. And then that's what it looks like right there. Really, really pretty. I am going to wear this one tomorrow. Super excited. Um, I'm actually not wearing either of them today. I'm wearing Kat Von D's Studded Kiss Lipstick in the shade Lolita. Oh my god, I love these lipsticks. I really need to pick up more of them. I really wanted to pick up um, like two of them at the sale, but I decided to get these ones instead because these ones I definitely wanted more. I was going to pick these up on Too Faced.com because I had a coupon um, that came with the peach palette, but since they were in the store and then that way I don't have to pay shipping, I decided to pick them up in um, the Sephora's anyway. So they had this one in... They had Child Store Star, I was like Child Store in my Sephora, and then they had um, Sell Out in Roswell Field. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Um, the only other thing is a point perk, and I got the Tarte Tardis Lash Paint Mascara. I did try this out once. I'm not too crazy about it, but I did layer it up, and it looked okay when I layered it. Um, this is what the one looks like. It's a little bit dry. But um, I will test it out more and let you know what I think. Um, but I did decide to um, try it, so it's just a point perk. And then I just got this other sample of a perfume. It's the D&G Pore Femme Perfume. Can't smell it from <laughs> outside of the packaging. I probably look like a crazy person. Like, And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so please like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at CW819, and my Twitter is PokerFace819, and my Snapchat is PokerFace819. Now I'm going to load this all in my bathroom, and yeah, that's it. Bye, guys.